Hello, and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number 71 in my How to Survive and Thrive series. And in today's episode, Tang and I here are going to create beautiful fireworks together. That didn't sound right, did it? So let me reiterate that. Tang is going to assist me in my endeavors to craft fireworks for your entertainment and edification. <laughs> there, that's better. Sorry, Tang, you're not my type. So, without further ado, let's get started. Now, this is uh, none too soon either, since it's now December 29th, and the New Year's Eve is just about upon us. And what's better on New Year's Eve than a little fireworks? Well, maybe a little champagne, but we don't have that in Minecraft. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a bunch of dyes here, because these are going to come in handy in a moment when we add color to our fireworks. So let's head on over to my fireworks station, which is right over here. And by the way, if you want to follow along step by step, you can do so. There's a link down below in the description where you can download this world and you'll have everything that you see here, just as I have it. Stuff in my pockets, my pets, my boxes, my houses, etc, etc. And uh, you can follow along as I do this. Now, let's, uh, let's go ahead and first talk about what's going to happen and then we'll make it happen. So right over here is where we're going to set up a bunch of dispensers with some redstone and delays and we're going to click on a button over here and we're going to fire off these fireworks and have a little fireworks show when the sun goes down. And uh, over here I've already got set up a little fireworks crafting station. So uh, that's what we're going to do first is obviously we need to make the fireworks before we can shoot the fireworks off. Now, fireworks is something that's been added um, with 1.4.6, uh, I believe. And they're quite simple to make. All you really need, as far as the rocket goes anyway, is a little gunpowder and some paper. And you get a firework rocket. Now, the firework rocket in and of itself is not all that exciting. In fact, I will fire this off by right-clicking on the ground and... Ooh Where's the kaboom? There's supposed to be an earth-shattering kaboom! <laughs> Tang's like, whatever. Um, anyway, that's my Marvin the Martian, and indeed, there was no earth-shattering kaboom. So how do we get earth-shattering kabooms with our fireworks in Minecraft? Well, I'm going to show you. The first thing we want to do is dump all this dye in here. And we're going to use some of that to color the effect. So basically a firework rocket in and of itself does nothing as you can see there. But if you attach a firework star to it, and the star is where the explosion happens and the color and the fancy effects, then we'll get our uh, we'll get our eye popping fireworks. And and basically a firework star has three attributes. The first being color, and then the second being shape, and third effect. Now, all of these things require ingredients. So, obviously, the color requires some kind of dye. And I'm going to go ahead and just grab a couple of these. Why don't we just grab the, the purple dye and the lapis. And then we're going to assign a shape to it. Um, actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and color this thing. And essentially, to, to make this uh, firework star, you just need gunpowder and then a color. And you're going to get a firework star. That's how easy it is. Now, you'll note here that this firework star says it's a small ball and it's purple. It's purple because we added the purple dye. Now, I can go ahead and throw another color in here. And now this is a small ball, purple, comma, blue. And I can go ahead and take that out, but I'm not going to do that yet because I want to add an effect to it. Now, every time you, you make a, uh, a firework star, it's going to default to small ball. But if you don't want the small ball, you can, um, you can make it a different shape. So there are there are four well there are five different shapes. One is the small ball, which is the default. Then there's um, there's a fire charge, which makes it a large ball. And of course, we need to make a fire charge. So let's go make a fire charge. I left these ingredients here so I can show you how to make a fire charge because I don't know if I've ever done this before. And I don't think okay, it doesn't matter how you arrange these as far as I know doesn't so gunpowder coal and blaze powder and you get three fire charges and this is one of the shapes one of the uh, attributes that define shapes rather so the five shapes are uh, small ball and then if you add a fire charge you get a large ball so why don't we go ahead and do that and a golden nugget will um, create a star-shaped explosion a feather is going to do a burst 
and then any head any head that you get from um, either killing a wither skeleton like I have here or you if you're in creative you can use a creeper skull or a Steve head or a zombie head etc and that will create a creeper no matter which head you use it's always gonna make a creeper shaped explosion so why don't we go ahead and we'll start with the fire charge and then we're going to add an effect to it now there are only two effects and one is rather expensive and I'm gonna go ahead and use my last diamond here for science purposes it's how much I love you guys and gals so I will use my last diamond and these two effects right here we have the glowstone dust which is going to add a twinkle effect and the diamond will add a trail effect so why don't we go ahead and use what we have here to make our first firework star so I'm gonna put the gunpowder in then I'm gonna assign a color to it and we have a by default small ball purple and blue but if I add a fire charge to it and it, the arrangement doesn't matter it's going to now be a large ball so when it explodes in the sky it's going to be large rather than small and if we want to add an effect to it so again that's that defines the shape and then this defines the effect the glowstone and that adds a twinkle so what we end up with for a firework star is a large ball that's going to be purple and blue when it explodes and it'll have a little twinkle effect at the end we can also add um, a fade color to this I'm pretty sure and I, I don't remember exactly when you add the fade right there okay yeah so you can add you can add a fade anytime so there is actually one final effect there are four I guess you could say there are four stages color shape effect and then a fade color and uh, why don't we have it fade to red so if you just put your firework star in here and add a color and it, now it's a large ball it's purple and blue when it explodes and then it's going to fade to red with a twinkle so so frankly I should probably have another box right here that's not a box that's a crafting table um <laughs> let's just use this one so this guy right here will be more colors and these will be the fades why don't we just grab all the colors since I'm going to go ahead and just make a whole bunch of these anyway right now the cactus green is going to be used obviously for the creeper explosion creeper head shape um so why don't we throw some of these in here for fade and you can make a sign then and i'm just doing this so things are a little easier for you guys to understand and why don't we just call this fade so that is the final thing you can do all right so now that we have our single star here um, let's go ahead and make we're gonna make six more I think we're gonna have seven of those dispensers fire off and why don't we uh, start by assigning our color of course now I moved all the colors over here let's grab a blue let's grab a yellow and how about an orange and then we're gonna add a shape so let's do gold we haven't done gold yet and what did I say gold is going to do that's gonna make it star shaped and um, I guess we'll go ahead and use my, my last diamond sniffle all right well let's do it all for science so let's add some color here we'll add uh orange and blue so that's going to be a small ball orange and light blue and then we add our golden nugget which changes the shape to a star shaped and then our diamond for the final effect and that adds a trail goodbye diamond oh, you will be missed and if we want to add a trail in color we can add a fade uh, fail a fade color rather a fade to yellow when she fades away now we're gonna need some space here because I'm just gonna go ahead and make uh, well we're gonna need a lot more aren't we all right let's grab whoops keep doing that don't I how about a what is this magenta and um, pink that'll be kind of interesting and a blue and then another shape is the feather so let's grab the feather here and then we'll just since I don't have any other effects left other than the uh, twinkle we'll have to add the glowstone so again it's just gunpowder it's your color um, why don't we do we'll do lapis and magenta so this is going to be blue and magenta small ball we'll add the feather effect and that changes it to a burst and then we'll add a twinkle by the way you don't have to add any effects if you don't want to you can just leave it like that but hey the more effects the better in my opinion so let's just do that 
All right, and the final shape would be the creeper head. So why don't we grab the creeper head? Actually, my last wither skeleton skull, too. This is how much you guys mean to me. I'll hold off on any effect on this one. And why don't we make, obviously, the creeper head has to be green. There's no other color possibility. There is, but what's the point of that? I mean, the creeper head's green, right? I think it's going to burst as green automatically anyway, if I recall. So now we have a uh, small ball. It's green. Um, then we're going to add a wither skull, which is going to make it creeper shaped. And it's still green. It's always green. And we won't add any effect to that one. Light gray dye. I wouldn't want a light gray explosion, would you? I don't think so. All right, so that's pretty much how that works. Um, so now we have four again, and I'm just going to go ahead and I have shown you all of the different sizes, right? We have a burst, a large ball, star shape, and a creeper shaped. Uh, we don't have any small ball, so I'm going to make the rest of them, and then I'm going to rig up the uh, the redstone. I'll show you how to do that, and then we'll have our little fireworks show. Tang and I. Thanks for helping out, buddy. Love ya. Aw. Okay, so I'm going to do that off camera, and I'll be right back. Stay tuned. Okay, we're back, and guess what, Tang? We forgot to add the kaboom, and it's your fault. You were supposed to remind me to add the kaboom, so you're fired. All right, let's uh, let's add the kaboom. We have all these fireworks stars made up now. I've got eight total, and they are useless without adding a rocket to it. So we're going to go ahead and make our rocket, which is our firework star, some paper, and some gunpowder. It doesn't matter how you arrange them. And as you can see here, we have a firework rocket, and it says flight duration one. And we can add more uh, height. Basically, the duration is the height. So we can add more to that by adding more gunpowder with a maximum of three. So flight duration between one and three. This one's going to shoot nice and high with a three. We're going to take that out. And now that rocket is ready to go kaboom. And in fact, why don't we go ahead and demonstrate? I have enough enough for the fireworks show later. And ready? Stand back. Get your bucket of water out just in case a cat catches on fire. Nah, catch can't. Catch, the catch can't catch on fire. <laughs> and here we go. Boom. There's the kaboom. There was a kaboom. Pretty cool stuff. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make the rest of them. So now we have seven firework rockets ready for our big firework display, which are going to set up over here. Oh, hello. Two new assistants over here as well. All right, then. We can handle this. Charge him. All right, so we have a platform all chosen out right here. Cat, I need you over here. In case of creepers, do your job. You're, I've, you are officially now rehired. Um, okay, yes, I did set this up so I can show you guys how to make dispensers. Now, this is something that I had covered in a prior tutorial, but we might as well do a refresher course. It's basically just cobble, uh, redstone, and an arrow, a bow, rather. And we have our seven dispensers. We're also going to need repeaters as delays. So to make a repeater slash delay, you just do this. Let's see if I remember how to do this. Three stones like that and redstone repeater. So we're going to add about a half second delay between the, uh, the, the rockets shooting. So what we need now is we're going to make a little, I'm just going to put the dispensers out right here. We're going to go one, two, three, four. We need a little space between them and I need dirt. Dang it. We want one space between each. And then we'll rig up all the redstone and the repeaters. Watch yourself, cat. And then we'll cover them up. We'll hide them behind blocks so that the uh, the good people watching the show can't see them. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six. I have one too many. I only have, I only have seven rockets. So let's get rid of that guy. All right, and now we're just going to put the rockets inside. There's one there. Let's save the creeper for last, which is this guy. Let's put you in there. It doesn't matter where you put them. You in there. That guy. That guy. And three kinds of people in this world. Those that can count and those that can't. One, two, three, four, five, six. And apparently, I'm the one that can't. Let's put you there. And creeper. All right, now I'm going to get rid of this dirt behind. We need this to run the redstone. It's a bad spot, cat. 
I have very bad luck with cats in Minecraft. <laughs> seem to kill them off. <laughs> they seem to die on their own, actually. All right, we're going to need this redstone. And now we're going to rig these up. Um, and it's going to be something like... We're going to run redstone all the way over there. Oh. No, no, it needs to be night. We'll have to wait till night. We're going to... Uh, we're going to put the delays here in between. Put a delay here. Cat, you got to move there, Tang. Delay here. And keep moving. I'm just going to keep shoving, you know. Go go catch a mouse or something. Go swim in a lake. All right. Now we're going to string these up together like this into the backs of the dispensers. You can get pretty fancy with this. This is not fancy, but it works for me. This is, again... This will be about a half second delay between these. So now to set these up as delays, you right click until that's separate. Now you have to make sure the arrows are pointing that way. So the power flows that way. And that's about a point, I think it's 0.4 second delay. So it's almost a half, uh, uh, almost a half second. All right, there we go. I hope this works. I haven't really tested it. And we're going to run this redstone all the way down, whoops, over here where we can just apply a redstone torch and watch the fireworks rip. And I'm gonna need, yeah, I'm gonna need, this is not a repeater here, I mean, not a, a delay here, this is a repeater, so it carries a signal another 15 blocks or whatever. So let's see how far we can go with this one. All right. Um, yeah, I might need one more. I'm not going to count those right there. But it should be good enough. Now, we just have to wait for night. And I'm going to have myself some roasted chicken. A little dinner up here. And some fruit. And let's wait for night for the fireworks show. Okay, it's night. The show is on. Everybody's gathering around. Come on over here, pal. Yep, just it's a, hold on. Wait, wait a minute. Have patience. The show's going to start in a second here. Hold on. Relax. Whew. All right, irate customer. Okay, it looks like everybody's out. The creepers are down there waiting for the big kaboom, and it is time to go. So, we ready, Tang? Yeah, oh, look at Tang just staring up at the moon. And a three, and a two, and a one. Joy to the world. Happy New Year. Yeah, no kaboom. There's supposed to be a kaboom. All right, let's get rid of that. I know what the problem is. Now you, just wait. Come on, don't be so angry. Where's my fireworks? Go make your own fireworks. You can do that. All right, let's move. Uh, shoot, I'm going to have to move this guy a little closer over here. And then I'll just grab one from over there and move it down. Let's set that delay. No break there. Okay, not a problem. Hold on, we got this. We got this. We'll just move this guy back. Um, I, I guess I should count. Counting's really for the week, but whatever. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I know, just relax. The show's... The show will go on. Oh. No need to get all feisty. All right. Oh, man. Come on, let's go. Let's get this fireworks show on the road here. Everybody's all mad at me. And then this one, I can... Let's bring this one up here a little then, shall we? Yeah, there we go. I'll stand right up here with you, kitty. Uh, is that 15? Yeah, close. Okay, now, let's try this again. <clears throat> Three, two, one. Da, 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 da. Happy New Year. Creeper face finale. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, high five. Whatever, about five. <laughs> okay, that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. The show is over. And I'm going to recollect all my stuff here because I used a lot of resources for this. Now, you can get pretty fancy with these delays and timers. And you can make like a pulsar and an X and or a gate or whatever the devil it is. And you can add much more delay between. And you can fill these up with rockets. So have fun. Do it in creative because that way you'll have unlimited resources. But when we're in survival mode... You gotta work with what you got, you see. Dude, you missed the show. 
See you next year. <laughs> all right. I think that's it for now. Hope you all enjoyed the fireworks extravaganza. And uh, happy new year. And we'll see you in the next episode. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'll think of something. All right. Have a good day. Bye-bye. You let me know. <laughs> it's the prankster at work here. Come on out this way now. You can climb out. I'm taking back everything I gave you. <laughs>